Hey man, it's me, Kevin Smith. Welcome to another scene study, this time of mall rats. Uh, today, we're going to be looking specifically at uh, the thing that will follow me to the grave. Uh, the thing that I'll probably be remembered best for after I leave this uh, most wonderful world, the stink palm scene. Um, I don't know where this came from, kids, because I, I never did this in life. And it wasn't a thing I heard about. You know where it came from? The snowball scene in Clerks. That I heard from somebody else. And I was like, that's fucking cool. So as I'm writing Mall Rats, I'm trying to come up with a snowball equivalent and I come up with the stink bomb instead. So um, it's, you know, the sad, desperate effort of a 24, 25-year-old Kev Smith um, to be raunchy. But uh, I've never, it's got no basis in life. This is just something I always thought, like, man, I hope people wash their hands before they shake hands. What if they just have their hand down their pants? Now, in the age of COVID, this is a horror scene. This is a study in fucking true terror, man. The amount of germs that are passed in this fucking sequence and stuff, ugh, is horrible. So, enjoy the stink palm scenes. You're going to see uh, Jason Lee as the great Brody Bruce, Jeremy London as T.S., Scott Mosier going to pop in as uh, Roddy, Mr. Svenning's assistant, and uh, you might even see Mr. Svenning himself later on eating them fucking uh, chocolate-covered pretzels, the great Michael Rooker. Rooker, uh, you know, goes to Comic-Cons all the time and, and says that still to this day, there's a percentage of people that come up for pictures or autographs that bring him a bag of chocolate-covered pretzels. Um, if you look at Rooker in this scene, or in any of the entire movie, bald, that's our Lex Luthor. When I wrote my Superman script, that's who I saw as Lex Luthor, was Michael Rooker. He would have been amazing. Um, so here it is, ladies and gentlemen, from Mallrats, the Stink Palms. What do you think? I don't trust it. Well, maybe he's calmed down a little bit. You know, let's talk about it reasonably. Reasonably, schmeasonably, you should go over there and give him shit. I'm kidding? I'm trying to marry his daughter. All right, so you can't scream at him, but after all he's done to you, you should still kind of stick it to him. How do you propose I do that? You stink palm him. It's a stink palm. You take your hand, you stick it in your ass like this. You've been walking all day and you're also nervous, so no doubt you'll be sweaty as hell. You should see yourself right now, a grown man with his hand down his pants. Yeah, I probably look like my old man. <clears throat> there, now you shake hands with the guy. Hey, Mr. Zvinning, how have you been? What's the point? You know how long it takes for that smell to come off? Scrub all you like, it'll stick around for at least two days. How does he explain it to his colleagues and family? They'll think he doesn't know how to wipe his ass properly. Meanwhile, you yourself are left with a hand that smells like shit. Small price to pay for the smiting, one zombies. Hey, fellas. Well, 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 if it isn't my neighbor. Mr. Zvenning, how have you, damn, would you feel that iron grip handshake? Like Burr Reynolds and shit. So, what's going on here? Oh, well, uh, T.S. and I were just discussing a few of his lesser points. Of which he does have many. Mm. Hey, look at that ring. What is that? That is uh, my uh, junior college class ring, Come Loud 69. <laughs> oh, I also hope to come loud one day, preferably in a 69. <laughs> <laughs> Say, would you like a chocolate-covered pretzel? They're a little melty, but damn, are they exquisite. And if I remember correctly, you're a big pretzel fan. <laughs> um... Uh, dark uh, chocolate. Yeah. No, no, no. Oh, come no. on. No, no, They're no, awesome. please. No, no. Here you go. Oh, oh. Uh, thank you. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Oh. Mm. Yes. Oh, good, good. Very nice. <laughs> and you know, being a man who uh, believes in. One good turn deserves another. Hmm? I have something to offer to both of you. Really? What's that? <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> hey, kids, did you like that? All these movies are available on iTunes or Netflix in some places, Amazon and other places. You can find them. They're available. Patronize them, if you will. Uh, also, if you like this kind of stuff, come on over to That Kevin Smith Club. Go to thatkevinsmithclub.com. Join up, man. I do wake and bake three times a week where I wake up and just smoke weed with y'all and stuff. Come to That Kevin Smith Club for more video antics with Kevin Smith.